Jamal Nayaz here with one of the brightest stars on the WWE roster right now, Carmelo Hayes, yeah. here for Bash in Berlin. Right. Now, you've got one of the best rivalries in pro wrestling right now with Andrade. Incredible series of matches. Did you know that you'd have that sort of chemistry with him straight away? Uh, you know, more people are telling me it's chemistry and it's a great rivalry. I mean, I'm just going in there doing what I'm doing. I'm just trying to win matches. Uh, I think I, I had a uh, chip on my shoulder because of that whole thing that happened at Money in the Bank. I think people are trying are forgetting what started this whole thing. Exactly. Uh, he tried to claim that he was stole, stole the show. He stole the match at Money in the Bank. And truth is that I think I was the brightest spot at Money in the Bank, even though I didn't win, even though he didn't win. Uh, and that's really what this story has become. Uh, who was the man in that match? And uh, he, you know, he got the two one lead on me. And uh, tonight I look to uh, even the score. You've shown that you are him right there on the necklace since you've got on the main roster and even on NXT. When we look back at one of your final NXT matches, one of your biggest final NXT matches sure. against Bron Breaker, when you had Cena in your corner, he had Paul Heyman in his, Undertaker came and supported you afterwards. Like That's a childhood dream come true, right? And that makes a statement that you are, and both of you guys, I, I see you and Bron Breaker main event in numerous WrestleManias yeah. in years to come. What yeah. was that like? And yeah, did, did you feel like that was a glimpse of the future? Yeah. Passing of the talk. Sure, yeah. I always talk to people and say sometimes I've had like uh, career mode you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I think I told one of my, my buddies from, like, when I was a kid. I was like, hey, man, how crazy is it to think, like, John Cena walked me to the ring, The Undertaker made the save. You know what I mean? Give me the at the end, like, just yeah. career mode stuff, man. Like, my, my career has been a story mode. Uh, you can't write it, you know. But as far as Braun and I go, um, you know, we were – held responsible for bringing 2.0 into the new era and you know when a lot of things in WWE were changing him and I were at the forefront of that developmental system and Sean trusted the both of us to kind of lead the way on that so I mean as far as like you know down the road future of the you know WWE Braun and I definitely I think are two front runners up there uh, but there's so many other ones like Ilya Dragunov exactly. you know Lyra Valkyria Tiffany Stratton Grayson Waller Austin Theory Sola Sokoa you know what I mean you can't forget those names as well you mentioned Shawn Michaels there obviously pivotal in your NXT journey right. and Triple H on the main roster journey as well has so much faith and belief in you yeah. how would you compare your experiences with Shawn Michaels in NXT and Triple H on the main roster uh, similar but different, you know what I mean? I think Sean and NXT understood that a lot of us guys were, you know, in a sense green. In a sense, we were learning the system of WWE, so it's a lot more hands-on. It's a lot more holding the hand and, and, and carrying you along as opposed to whereas Hunter is very much so like, hey, look, you're an adult up here. Uh, he had said that to me at one point. He's like, look, you know what I mean? No one's going to really be checking the, checking your homework you know we're gonna make sure that you're doing it and you're coming to work and you're doing what you need to do uh so that's really the different approach is like hunter expects you to be a professional at all times sean understands that you know we're all learning and, and we're developing at that same time just touching on john cena as well sure. he's got his retirement tour next year yeah that's gotta happen carmelo yeah. versus cena yeah have yeah. you got a message for john no message. He knows what's up. I mean, we're both Boston boys. We're both from New England. Uh, you know, I know his father and, and you know, his, his dad saw me when I was just breaking into the business. Uh, and he's somebody who, you know, would give me tips early on. So, I mean, the story writes itself. And then, you know, John and I having that interaction on NXT, uh, you know, I feel like it's inevitable. Um, you know, he, he said, you want some, come get some. And I'm definitely going to be one of the first people in line to try and come get some.